Live from the Carl Chevrolet Studios in West Des Moines, this is Iowa Live. Welcome back to the program, everybody. We love checking in with the Blank Park Zoo, but look at this, folks. The Blank Park Zoo has come to us today. In the studio with us, Jessica Shellhorn, Julia Bingham, and the rock star of the day, Amboro. We're going to learn all about Amboro. Ladies, thanks for being here. <laughs> We're excited to be back. It's been three years, I think. Coming up yeah. on that, yeah. yeah. But a lot of things going on at the Blank Park Zoo. We're going to let you know about those, but how about we let everybody know about Amboro, Julia? Amboro is a blue and yellow macaw. He is about 27, 28 years old, and he's been at the zoo most of his life. Um, he is a very smart bird, so we're able to work on a few different things with him. Um, he's able to learn some behaviors and get a little treat for doing what I ask. Um, his favorite thing to do, though, is scream at the top of his lungs, so we don't <laughs> Really encourage them as pets. Um, they are a very, very high maintenance animal. He takes up um, a lot of our time at work, just making sure we're meeting all of his needs. Now let's talk about that. You said very high maintenance and they live a long time, don't they? Yeah, that's one of the reasons why we don't encourage them as pets. Um, they're kind of like having a two-year-old for 90 years because they can live up to 90 years in wow. human care. Um, and I, I have had two two-year-olds and I don't recommend <laughs> having them for 90 years. They also are very messy. They drop about 75% of their food on the ground and then they poop on it. Okay. So very messy. Um, very loud, like Julia said. So yeah, we do not recommend um, macaws um, or a lot, several parrots okay. as pets. Yeah. Now we we're wondering whether or not he could do a lap around the studio <laughs> here, and you said that's not going to happen. No. So Amboro never learned how to fly. Um, macaws um, need to learn how to fly when they're really young, so they can develop those flight muscles, those those muscles on their chest. And Amboro never learned how to fly when he was little, so he can't fly right now. That's not to mean that he could never fly. He mm. could be taught how to fly okay. if Julia wanted to put in the hours that in months and years that it would take to teach him how to fly. So maybe at some point he could fly right now. Um, he gets into enough trouble not flying, so <laughs> we're, we're okay with him not flying. Oh, he is such a great animal, an ambassador animal at the Blank Park Zoo. Uh, speaking of ambassadors, you're going to have a heck of an ambassador over at the zoo on Saturday, aren't you? Yeah, we have a big ambassador coming from the North Pole. So Santa's going to be at the zoo this Saturday from 10 to 2. You can come out to see him and Mrs. Claus and take some pictures and see all the animals that we have because a lot of our animals if they're not outside you probably can go inside and see them. Okay, you see free face painting is going on out there as well? Yep, there's face painting, there's some activities, some um, coloring pages, some crafts, candy canes. You can mail a letter to Santa if you haven't done so yet. I think you have just enough time to get it sent to the North Pole in time for Christmas. That is great. Now speaking of that, yes. let's talk about some of the goodies that we have here on the table because did you think about going to the Blank Park Zoo to the gift shop to supply some of those. Yeah, absolutely. So when you're at Santa this Saturday, you can stop by our gift shop. Members save 20% on um, any everything from the gift shop that's not already marked down for the month of December. And we brought some goodies today. We have several books that are brand new, lots of plushes, and what people don't know about several of the plush stuffed animals that we have at the zoo. They're made out of recycled materials. Oh, nice. So they're all environmentally friendly. Um, we also have these really cool new bracelets. I'm wearing one today that I had bought for myself, but um, we have several different animals that I'll, I'll hold up this one. This one is of a lion, and what you can do... We'll keep that real still here, and we'll yep. have that. What you can do is when you buy this, you actually can get a QR code that you can scan, and you can track a lion, a real lion over in Africa, their movements. So researchers over in Africa have put GPS collars on some on several different animals, um, including lions and some elephants, nice. and you can actually see the movement of that animal over in its natural native range. So my polar bear bracelet that I have, I can track, my polar bear's name is Nook, and I can track her movements in um, the Arctic, and she's, I've learned that she's had around six cubs. So, nice. Yeah, it's really, really and cool. that's all at the gift shop. All at the gift so when shop. when you see Santa, yep. you can run in there real quick. Yep, absolutely. Stop in, get some really cool items for Christmas. That is great. But Amboro doing <laughs> circles over here. Thank you all for bringing him over. He can wave to, the, uh, to everybody out there uh, watching on TV right now. Amboro, can you wave? Good job. <laughs> can we do a big wave? 
There it is. <laughs> if people want to get more information about the zoo, what's the easiest thing they can do? Blankparkzoo.com. Does get much easier than that, and doesn't get much cooler than Amboro <laughs> in studio with us. Julia and Jessica, thank you so much for being here. Thanks, Lou. Thanks for spending a little bit of your time with us today. We'll see you back here tomorrow.